The best place to start to understand the consumption or pay-as-you-go options available with uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat is to have a look at this table here. So in this table here, we see the comparison between Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat, which starts out as being free, and then you can add consumption, and also the paid version, which is called Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now, some major differences between these two versions is you'll notice that the free version does not provide work grounded chat. So what it means is, is you can use it across the web information, but you can't use it or it won't work across any data that you have inside your Microsoft 365 environment. You'll also see that Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat does not operate, um, is not integrated into Teams, Outlook, Word, so none of the um, app-based areas that you would normally work with. Now, if you do have a paid version of Microsoft 365 Copilot, you will get all those features and functionality as expected. Now, if you add the consumption uh, option here to Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat, you'll see that you get two important options. You get the user agents are grounded in work data. So that means these agents that are created will indeed use uh, corporate data to generate responses and answers. And you also have the ability to use agents uh, in an autonomous action. So that means you can create them to do things automatically for you. Now, both of these are included, but they need to own, they need to be enabled via a metered or consumption or as a pay-as-you-go option. And that pay-as-you-go option, that billing is tied to an Azure subscription. So the way it works is you could, everybody has access, everybody has Microsoft 365 has the ability to enable Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat, and that will do all the features in the blue dots here. If you want to also include the ability to work with agents grounded in the data in the tenant, as well as create agents that act autonomously, then we can add a metered or pay-as-you-go um, billing option that is tied to an Azure subscription, which is what I want to run through for you here. Okay, so here we are on a subscription that has Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat enabled. You'll see it looks very similar to the paid version except for a number of key options. You'll see here there is no work or web button up the top. On the right, we get no option to create an agent from the chat interface. We get the ability to uh, get an agent but not create an agent. You'll notice that there's a missing icon down here that allows you to turn web data on and off. Now, before we enable the metered or the consumption or the pay-as-you-go option, we need to have an Azure subscription. So if we pop over to the Azure environment, you'll see if I select subscriptions here that I already do have an Azure subscription in here, and this is what the billing or the metered will be billed against. So you need to have that uh, in place first. The other option that you will need to do is create a resource group. So a resource group is simply a bucket uh, in which the costs can be aggregated and also can, you can manage security around. Now I have already created one uh, for this tenant. So you'll see here I've created one called Copilot Chat and in here is where all the billing and all the um, metered options will be. And in here you also you get the ability to do cost analysis, cost alerts, and budgets if you do need to do that. So once we have set up an Azure subscription, we've created a resource group, then what we can do as an administrator, we can go to the admin portal, so admin.microsoft.com. On the left-hand side here, you'll see there's an option called Copilot. We select that. That will take us into the Copilot configuration options. And in there, what we need to do is select settings, and in our settings, you'll see that we get the option up the top here to go Copilot Agent Consumption Meter. So select that. And on the right hand side, you'll see we've got the option to go to the Power Platform Billing. So all of the ways that you set up the metered or pay as you go options are in the Power Platform admin area, which is admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Now I'm taken straight to the licensing option. You can get to it manually by selecting that on the left-hand side here. And you'll see I'm taken into the billing plan. So I have a number of in play already. So the one here that is already working, you'll see that 
this is the Copilot chat. It is tied to the Azure subscription already. But if you want to set up a new one, you select new billing plan, and then you've got two options here, Azure subscription and Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. Azure subscription allows you to tie more than just Copilot to the Azure billing. So things like Power Apps, Power Automate, and so on can be tied into that Azure subscription as well. But in this case, just to do Copilot, what we're going to do here is we're going to select Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. Now we'd give that uh, billing plan a name. You'll see that we select the Azure subscription that we already have in place and we select the resource group that we also have in place prior. So that's why it's important to make sure that prior to configuring page you go, you have an Azure subscription and you have a resource group set up for that already. And if I continue through here, you'll see that it will create a new environment for me. We'll talk about that shortly and it'll make it a production environment. Now I've already created that as you see here. So this has already been created and I can go in here and edit that. Uh, if I want to do that, you'll see that it's targeted environment here. So make note of that. And you'll see that the products that it targets are the Dataverse and Copilot Studio. So they're going to be billed as a pay as you go or on a consumption basis. Now you can also view what's going on uh, with your licenses down here in Copilot Studio. So you'll see here you can manage the billing plan. The messaging concept is how the billing happens. So when the AI accepts a, a request or a prompt and returns a prompt, uh, this is considered typically a, a message here and that's what you'll be billed at build for and you'll be able to see and manage all of that in here. You can also manage any sessions, download the report and you get a, a summary of what's going on in the environment. So that's how you can see what's basically happening. Now, what we need to do is we need to go into Copilot Studio and we need to have a look at this. So the way that we set up an agent is we go to a URL called Copilot uh, Studio. All right, and once we go into Copilot Studio, we then need to swap across to this environment, this new container where the billing is managed and targeted back into the Azure subscription. So you go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com. Now, before you go in and actually start doing things, you'll need to go up the top here and select your environment. So normally it's on the default environment, all right? And that default environment has no billing and your agent won't basically work as expected because uh, it can't bill its actions of its, you know, returning data, uh, returning prompts and generation from your own data. So what we need to do is go up the top here and we need to select that Microsoft 365 Copilot chat, the environment name that we created, we tied it to an Azure subscription. Now, once this comes up, you'll then be able to go in and create agents, you'll be able to create the automations, you'll be able to do all those great things that you can do with Copilot and the billing for that typically by messages will be billed to the Azure subscription, which you have uh, gone in and set up. Now, if we go back and look at the Copilot chat here or biz chat, you'll see that there is no difference. Nothing's changed by adding a pay as you go subscription. There is still no button up here with work or web. There is still no option to create an agent from the chat interface and that icon is still not displayed. So just turning on pay as you go or consumption uh, metering here with Microsoft 365 Copilot chat basically only turns on the ability to create agents that work across the corporate data or the tenant data as well as automations it doesn't give you uh, the full version of biz chat it doesn't give you agents in sharepoint it doesn't give you copilot in your word excel powerpoint and it doesn't give you uh, in places like onedrive as well all right now we expect that probably to change over time but at the moment the reason that you want to enable consumption billing with Microsoft 365 Copilot chat is to get access to the ability to create agents with Copilot Studio and to then have that build against an Azure subscription so that you can start creating automations or your own custom agent that will work across the corporate data uh, without having to go and necessarily buy a standalone license of Microsoft 365 Copilot for every user, all right? So in summary, the way that we did that is we went into the admin, we selected Copilot, we went to settings, we then opened the option for the Power Platform billing. We went in and selected licensing pay-as-you-go plans. We created a new billing plan, Microsoft 365 Copilot chat 
tied to the Azure subscription and the resource group that we created prior. So as mentioned, you need to make sure that you have an Azure subscription and a resource group created prior. Once you have all that in play, then you can go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com. Make sure you swap to the uh, environment that was created when you created the billing plan. Now you can create an agent and that agent will be able to generate responses and provide information across your uh, corporate information, the information inside the tenant, as well as create automations. And those actions will be billed against the Azure subscription on a consumption or pay-as-you-go uh, basis. So that's kind of the way that we go in and set all that up. So hopefully that's giving you a better idea of how to go and set up um, the pay-as-you-go option that you add on to Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat to give you the ability to work with your corporate data but using the agents that you create in Copilot Studio. Thank you very much for watching the video.